Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is fecal emulsification of a soft cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber through the main incision. Now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another one on the left side of the main incision. And now capsular excess. The anti-capsule is incised, a capsular tag is raised. Now I use a ureter forceps. Hold this tag, go anticlockwise, remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and thus I do an adequate sized almost round rexus. Hydro dissection and hydro delineation. Fluid is passed just under the anticapsular rim, the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator and then hydro delineation is also attempted. In this case it has produced a golden ring. And now the nucleus is rotated. Complete rotation means the capsulocortical adhesions have been broken. And now 2% hydroxyl methyl cellulose is injected again. Then the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. The tip goes bevel down, remove some superficial cortical lens matter and now this lens is not hard enough so that it can be held with vacuum. So what you do is just make a small pit and then support the nucleus with the handpiece and use the chopper to slice it. Between the two instruments, the nucleus is sliced. If you try to hold it with vacuum, everything will be removed. Now this is the epinucleus. The nucleus is mobilized, brought at the center of the anterior chamber and it is removed. And now, cortical cleanup. In this case, I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration probes for cortical cleanup. Here it is. The irrigation is on the right side and aspirating probe is on the left side. And very easily, we can remove the cortex using the bimanual irrigation aspiration. Some soft paracentesis cortex is there, so I change hands and it is removed in this way. And now I use the irrigating probe only to polish the posterior capsule. Just sweep the fluid jet over the capsule and whatever lens fibers sticks to the posterior capsule gets dislodged. And now this is hydro implantation. A single piece intraocular lens is being placed in the capsular bag, keeping the antechamber formed by irrigation. The lens has a capsular bag, the lens is tiled, and now there is a small posterior capsular plaque in this case, fibrous plaque. It is not right at the center, it is just in front of the main incision and I am trying to polish it as much as possible. That's it. And now, we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now, this is PSS, stroma on either side of the paracentesis wounds are hydrated so that these paracentesis wounds get waterproof. 
yes and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with BSS the patient is under topical anesthesia and the patient is cooperating quite well the patient will move his or her eyes now and then but this is normal we have to learn to do surgery with this much eye movements and now is the this is the final lavage thorough cleaning of the viscoelastic substance from the corneal endothelium is done at this time then the chamber is formed nicely now take a cotton tipped Johnson bath check the wounds there should not be any leakage from any side then apply a few drops of moxifloxacin and conclude the case thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with great skills